Hi everyone, welcome to our channel. So this is the part five video of this React JS Correct Example series. So now we have to implement our last operation that is delete operation, where we are going to add delete button on every item just like edit button. Okay. So instead of navigating to a new new component for delete confirmation, what I am planning is on clicking the delete confirmation, I want to show a pop up like a confirmation pop up. That pop up contains two buttons like cancel and confirm. If user clicks on the cancel, nothing will happen. If user clicks on the confirm, we are going to trigger the delete endpoint so that item gets deleted. Okay, so almost our logic will be implemented in the uh, all fruits.js component. Okay, but what I want to do is for this pop up, I want to use the React Bootstrap model. Okay, so I want to make that model as a separate component instead of adding that entire HTML code into our app allfruits.js. I want to make it as a separate and shared component. That means in in our application, if wherever we want to show a delete a confirmation box, I want to show that component. Okay. Let me create a shared component like delete confirmation. For that, go to components folder. Inside of its shared folders, let's create a new component file like delete confirmation. Okay. So let's define the component. Okay. And imaginary tags. And export the component from this file. Okay. So now this is the component, shared component. Okay. Now let's add the React Bootstrap model. Okay. So go to React Bootstrap. Click on the components and go for model. Okay, here you, you will find number of examples from that. Just copy one thing. Okay, show hide. So this looks appropriate for me. Okay, copy this model. This model and paste it over here. And let's import the namespaces as well. So Wide namespaces model and the bootstrap. Okay. Okay, now if you observe, model is a React bootstrap model component. Header is for header, title is for title, body, and photo. It contains some buttons and handler. So here, what I will do. And here, uh, show property is there, right? This property is a Boolean. It takes Boolean value. If it is true, pop up will appear or show. If it is false, pop up will be hidden. Same way, hide. This is an event gets invoked when we click on a cross button. Cross button, generally, cross button, we like looked at the top of the right corner, right, for a pop up. So to close that, this is the event on hide. So for now, I don't have any uh, handler, right? Let me give you some arrow function, empty arrow function. Okay. So similarly, this close also will use the same as hide hide event method. Okay. So for now, close. And this is the confirm delete button. Okay. Confirm delete. And it should be a danger so that it appears in red color. Okay. And here also, currently we don't have any event handler. Just give arrow function. Okay. And here is the show button. So uh, this should be come from the our parent component, whichever invokes this delete confirmation because it should be a generic, right? We will not write any variables or any. A static content here because I want this component as a generic. 
so here i will add a property like show model so this should be comes from the parent so how from from parent how we can receive we have to read it from the props okay so props dot show model okay and title i want to be dynamic so same way everything will comes from the parent component okay but here we are defining some model names right so these names should be used by the parent component to pass the data okay and here title and here props dot body okay so what i will do let me create a delete button so before creating delete button let's go to allfruits.js here let's render that delete confirmation model okay so delete confirmation model import the component and we know we have few properties we have to pass from our invoking component right like show model right we know properties component properties can push like this okay here i have to pass the dynamic value boolean value true or false okay so what i will do i will create a state variable here okay constant so this left hand side property is our delete confirmation input properties if you want you can give same name here as well okay i will give same name here this is of my parent component property okay show model and set show model okay so what i will do use state sorry use state and by default pop up should be hidden right when page renders i will pass false okay now i can use this state variable to this show model okay so here one thing we probably confuse assigning same names left hand side and right hand side one thing we have to remember left hand side properties are delete confirmation props properties okay right hand side properties are parent properties okay if you want to give another name that is also absolutely fine okay next property what we have title so your title is simple title right whenever it will show it will show right so i i will directly assign the string here no need to create a state variable or anything okay it won't change right so what i will do delete warning this is my title same way body okay props dot body here it is using right so body are you want to delete this item okay so that is my body okay now let's add the delete button next to the edit button okay here let's duplicate this button some separator and it should be delete and it should be red color danger okay now i won't use this anonymous function sorry i navigate i will create a new handler so let me create a handler like open delete confirm model okay and on deleting it should receive the id okay sorry constant arrow function and arrow function should input with id value okay now here what i will do whenever user clicks on it i am going to set my model so i will set like true that means 
I am updating the show model to true. That means pop up will be displayed. Okay, let's register this open confirm delete to this model. Where is it? Here, let's remove. I will use arrow function only because I have to pass the input parameters, right? So, in that case, also we have to use the arrow function. So, means you cannot pass like this. I have already mentioned. In the expression braces that are flower braces, if you call a function, function will be executed automatically when the component is rendered. That is why I cannot do directly like this. Okay. So what I can do, I can call a arrow function. Inside of it, I can call it. Okay, now let's check on clicking the delete button. We are able to see the confirmation model pop up or not. Okay. So here is the delete button. If I click on delete. See, I am getting the model like title and the heading and close button. Now, if I click on close button, nothing is happening. See, nothing is happening, right? So now we will target on the close button to hide the model pop up. Okay. As we are making Following some convention, let's add handler at the end of the each click event method. Okay. Okay, now let's focus on the hiding of the model. So for that constant close model handler. Okay. Arrow function. Here we are going to use same set show model and we will say false. But our close button or cross button exists here. HTML is in this model, but the function we are writing here because we cannot write here. Okay. If you write here, that will be a like static content. But we we our aim is this component should be generic. So what I will do, I will pass this function reference to the child component. That means I can use same name for the child property also, or you can use different name. I am using same name. So this is not this function. Okay, something. Okay, for understanding, I will tell you like I am creating a function reference like a. Okay, to that a. I am passing my close handler. Okay. Now, what happening means I I am assigning the function to a. This is the function reference variable. So in the child component, what we can do, we can use on hide will be clicked for cross button right here. So props dot a. Okay. Here also. It should be closed, right? Here also I can use same props dot a. That means it is having the reference of this function, right? So it will work as a function here. So what I am doing, I am passing the function from the parent to the child. Okay. So I have given a for your understanding. What I will do, I will use same names for both ends. It is your convention. Okay. Okay, now let's test whether we are able to close our model or not. Okay, let's reload. Click on delete button. Click on close. See, it is gone. Again, click on delete button. Click on cross button here. See, that means our close handler is perfectly working. Okay, now finally, what we have to do? We have to work on this confirm delete button. So on clicking this confirm delete item should be deleted means delete API call must be invoked. So this is a generic right. I cannot write delete API call here. That means we have to write in our all fruits component and in a function and that function should be passed to here just like the close model handler. Okay. So Let's create a method like 
confirm delete handler okay and it should con and it should contains id as input property but we cannot pass id from here right so we cannot pass the input parameter so what we can do we can create a state variable here like item id to delete okay set item id to delete and use state initial value will be zero means there is nothing to delete okay now what i can do here on open confirm delete we are passing id value right so here we can store the variable okay so set item to delete value and store the id value now i have the id value set to the item to delete so i can use this in the function directly okay so now one here one more thing on closing i want to set the item to delete back to zero on pop up close okay so like this i can maintain the item to delete value in the all fruits component so now we know delete endpoint here delete endpoint also just like our get or put url slash id value but here there won't be any payload just a url we will pass for delete endpoint okay <coughs> so axios dot delete c delete method and pass the url okay go to our update and copy this url and get back to our all fruits component and paste it over here but it is not id here item to delete okay that's it so on success okay if the delete api is successful first thing first thing we have to delete delete means here these three items rendering from where in all component get api response stored in the all fruits variable first we have to remove the all fruits variable from this array of variable okay because we are deleting at the server right in single page application we don't reload the page after the deleting operation that means we have to manually omit the item that was deleted from the array so for that what i can do set all fruits okay and i will use arrow function which is good here okay and here previous state it will give so what i will do return previous state dot filter okay id not equal to not equal to item to delete okay i am setting new state for the all fruits by removing the uh, exist uh, deleted item from the existing state okay so after deleting i want to set delete to item to zero back okay add that line and finally i want to hide the mode so i add this line as well okay that's it and we have to pass this handler to the our tailor confirmation okay so what i will do i will use same names if you want to use different names you can use it okay so this is this method right hand side is the method left hand side is the reference variable okay and here we can call props dot that method so since this props we are adding here right so these are fixed names so if you want to use this as a generic one every component which are want to use this confirmation box they used to use these properties same way okay now let's test it okay go to network calls clear let me delete the newly added item this one I am clicking on the confirm delete. See, item is gone. 
and if you check the network calls see for delete api we are sending i want to delete this send point and request message is delete and status code 200 means that is successful if you reload also you won't see that deleted item so from this we can confirm that item is deleted at server as well okay so that's all about CRUD operations in react js application thank you so much for watching this video i hope this video delivered some useful content to you all if you like the content please do support me by subscribing to my channel soon we are going to meet with new videos until then signing off